Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Miss Lemming, a descendant of those fine folk who came across on the Mayflower, which subsequently has made her rather curious about my own pedigree, a subject I'm always pleased to discuss. Specifically, she wants to know how I reconcile my ancestral puritanical heritage with my more modern fascination with the weird. Now, I, I should start off by mentioning that I do not hold truck with any particular religious tradition. I, I have tried to abstain from such things my whole life, save for some youthful flirtation with Hellenic paganism, until I discovered that Lamb does not sit well with my constitution. But I don't know if I agree with the premise of the question. I, I don't think that Christianity by its nature is anathema to strangeness. I, Certainly in this country, where it has been the default for so long, I can forgive you for thinking so, and indeed some of the more benign and unassuming sects like the Methodists or Episcopalians are rather anodyne, if not outright milk toast. But the rest of Christianity is a seething cesspool of strangeness. Take the Puritans themselves. Here you have a people so riled up and incensed by the stifling in England that they crammed their families into foul-smelling boats and took them half a world away to strange new forests that they immediately populated with their own ghosts and demons and superstitions. Not a bad metaphor for writers, actually. And then, prior to them, you had the Catholics who spent centuries having fever dreams and then splashing them all over their churches and illuminated manuscripts. Why, even to this day, the night sky and parts of the country are rent by the ululations and glossolalia of the Pentecostals. And then there are the masters of the weird. Those heirs and devotees of Schofield, whose reference Bible puts my Necronomicon to shame. These people have constructed a god more alien and cold and utterly sinister than any deity I ever invented. No, they have taken strangeness to a whole new level. Perhaps I'm in the wrong line of work. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.